Hey friends, how's it going? My name is Tyler Russell, and I am the co-author of the Baxter Family Children's series that I write with my mom, Karen Kingsbury. And we are so excited about the release of Being Baxters, the fifth book in the series, which comes out February 21st, 2023. But today I wanted to read to you a chapter from the first book, Best Family Ever. Now, maybe you've read Best Family Ever, maybe you haven't, either way, we're gonna dive in and give you a little taste of where it all began for the Baxter family children. Best family ever, chapter one, winter. Fourth grade at Johnson Elementary School was turning out to be Ashley Baxter's best year ever. This week in Miss Wilson's class, they were studying snowflakes, beautiful, creative snowflakes of all things. And it was even supposed to snow today. Ashley twirled off the school bus and danced on her tiptoes, eyes fixed on the gray sky, her arms stretched wide. This was how a snowflake might feel. Ashley was pretty sure because a snowflake spent its entire life dancing through space. Her goal was to twirl all the way to her classroom. But Ashley must have lost track of where she was going or which way she was turning because all of a sudden she heard a yelling voice. Watch out, Baxter! The words were from a boy and they sounded mean. Before Ashley could figure out who they were coming from, someone crashed into her. A strange sound came from her lips, like the air was leaving her lungs all at once. She couldn't even get a deep breath before she and the boy fell to the ground. From the corner of her eye, Ashley saw a football roll a few feet from her. That's when she figured out who had hit her. It was Eric Powers, rudest boy in her class. Why were you spinning? Eric made a face at her. Four other kids walked by heading to class. Every one of them was watching. Great, Ashley thought. She stood and crossed her arms. Um, it's homework? Just so you know, she stared at him, her eyes squinty. And it's Ashley, not Baxter. Why did he have to run into her? Of all people. Homework, twirling. Eric picked up the football and stood right in front of her, the ball under his arm. Suddenly his angry face relaxed. A slow sort of smile came over him, like they were friends. What sort of homework? If I have to explain it to you, Eric, then you really just don't get it. Ashley huffed. Eric didn't understand. The bell rang and students all over the schoolyard rushed inside. Ashley took one last look up at the sky and closed her eyes. Who cares what Eric thinks? She could pretend to be a snowflake, at least for now. Ashley, time to come in. Miss Wilson peeked out from the classroom door. It's freezing out here. Yes, ma'am. Ashley ran toward the door, out of the cold and into the toasty classroom. She hung up her jacket and took a seat next to her best school friend in all the world, Lydia Christina. Why were you dancing out there? Lydia didn't look away from the book she was reading, but she raised her eyebrows high enough above the rim of her glasses. I was being a snowflake, Ashley folded her hands, nice and neat on her desk. Naturally, Lydia looked at her and laughed a little. You're the silliest girl in fourth grade. That's why I like you. It wasn't that silly. Ashley glanced over at Miss Wilson. The teacher was walking up and down the aisles, handing out papers, which meant Ashley and Lydia could still talk for a few minutes. You stepped off the bus and started spinning. Lydia kept her voice quiet. You're the only one I know who would do that. Lydia's words felt like a compliment. Ashley smiled more relaxed. Aren't you gonna ask me what it was like? She leaned back in her chair, being a snowflake. Okay, what was it like? Lydia set her book down and looked at Ashley. Didn't seem like it ended very well. It didn't. Ashley made a face. Eric Powers bumped into me and we both crashed to the ground. Well, Lydia angled her head. That is sort of how it ends with snowflakes. They all pretty much float to the ground. Ashley hadn't thought about that. True. She looked over at Eric, who was laughing with the other boys. Probably about her. Which means I will probably never play the snowflake game. Lydia pointed at the dirt on Ashley's knees. Not before school, anyway. Snowflake game? Ashley brushed her knees clean and then did the same to her elbows. She rolled her eyes. Lydia didn't understand either. For everything she had in common with her friend, there were some things where they were complete and total opposites. Be patient, Ashley reminded herself, not out loud, but inside her head. Her mom said she should work on patience. So this was her chance to practice. Lydia, Ashley used her kindest voice. It wasn't a snowflake game, it was homework. Homework, Lydia scrunched up her face like she was confused. Miss Wilson said, remember, she asked us to think what it, what it might be like being a snowflake. Right, okay, Lydia picked up her book and found her page. You're a funny one, Ashley Baxter. Ashley blinked a few times, whatever. Lydia thought she was silly, but Ashley didn't mind. 
they would always be friends forever and ever. How about we both pretend to be snowflakes at recess? Lydia looked up from her book, her eyes sparkly. It did sort of look fun. They were both giggling when Miss Wilson walked to the front of the classroom. All right, settle down. She waited for everyone to sit. Then she smiled at them. Good news, boys and girls. Next week is a special day. Who knows what it is? Lydia's hand went up first. Valentine's Day, a day where we celebrate St. Valentine and friendship and get lots of candy, Eric blurted out from the back of the classroom. A few of the boys around him laughed. There he goes, Ashley shook his head. That boy thinks he's so funny. Miss Wilson took a step closer. You are both right. So later today, we're gonna to discuss St. Valentine and the history of Valentine's Day. Miss Wilson pointed to the nearest desk. I just gave you an activity sheet so we can talk about this holiday together. Ashley looked out the window. She wasn't the biggest fan of Valentine's Day. She never got the most Valentine's cards. Everyone was supposed to give one to every boy and girl, but she always felt like the other kids got more. She'd rather study snowflakes. Then, while she was still looking outside, the most amazing thing happened. The smallest, softest, most delicate snowflakes began to fall to the ground, just like the one she was pretending to be when she climbed off the bus. How would that feel, being a real snowflake? Dancing and twirling and drifting down from heaven out of nowhere? Lydia gave her Lydia gave her a jab in her side. Ouch, Ashley turned to her friend. That hurt. Ashley, Lydia pointed to the front of the class. Miss Wilson asked you a question. In a rush, Ashley looked at their teacher whose eyes were definitely watching her. Ashley let out a little laugh and smiled. Sorry. Ashley, please stay with us. Miss Wilson put her hands on her hips. I asked the class to find a reason to use the word effervescent today. Did you know what that means? The whole class was watching her. The word was on her spelling list. She tapped on her desk. Bubbly? Miss Wilson nodded. Yes, bubbly and enthusiastic, she smiled. And even though you yourself are effervescent, I still need you to focus. I'm trying. Try harder. Miss Wilson's look was serious. Suddenly, Ashley thought of something to explain herself. Well, the truth is, a quick bunch of words filled Ashley's heads. They were out before she could stop them. I was so focused on your snowflake teaching from yesterday, and then I looked outside and I saw the beautiful snow, and I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could all learn our spelling words outside? In the snow, Miss Wilson leaned against her desk. She blew out a piece of hair and shook her head. It hasn't snowed since last week, Ashley blinked. Outside would be perfect. Don't you guys think so? She looked around the room, but she was met with absolute silence. Clearly, no one was with her on this. Eric Powers whispered out loud, loud enough for Ashley to hear. Crazy Baxter. The teacher didn't hear him. She was still standing in front of Ashley. She didn't look too thrilled. Lydia shook her head and stared down at her desk. I appreciate your creativity, Ashley, but I think everyone else would like to have the lesson inside. Miss Wilson turned to the blackboard. Ashley slouched in her chair and tried to pay attention. She'd already been in trouble twice this month for not paying attention, but sometimes she couldn't help it. All day long, the edges of her mind spilled over with extra thoughts. This wasn't turning out to be a very good day. Miss Wilson reprimanding her in front of the whole class and the fact that no one else wanted to go outside. Recess wasn't much better. Lydia tried to be a snowflake, only she got dizzy and fell in the snow. And it wasn't really very much snow, more like mud, so Lydia's hair got streaked with wet dirt. At the end of the day, when the bell rang, Lydia gave Ashley a look. I almost forgot. She stuffed her notebook into her backpack. Why did you ask to have a class outside? Miss Wilson was never gonna say yes to that. Are you serious? Ashley's mouth hung open for a few seconds. That was a great idea. Learning in the snow, can you imagine? No, Lydia made her eyes wide. Now Miss Wilson is gonna call your mom and you're gonna be in trouble because you didn't pay attention. Lydia shook her head. And who wants to study in the snow anyway? Too cold if you ask me. Lydia, Ashley stared at her. You're my best school friend. And I would do anything for you, but sometimes I don't get you. Ashley grabbed her things. If only Lydia wasn't so sensible. So then they could both be snowflakes together, even in the mud. And that is a little preview into Best Family Ever, the first book in the Baxter Family Children series. And be sure to read Being Baxters, available February 21st, wherever you read books. I'm Tyler Russell. Have a great day and happy reading.